So this week I will be customizing a pair of Air Force Ones. I'm gonna be doing a Breaking Bad theme Air Force One custom. I know that show's pretty old, but I've been re-watching it while I edit my videos and it's such a good show. Probably one of my favorites of all time, that in the office. But I've got a cool design drawn up for these. It's nothing too crazy, it's mostly just stencil work, but I think that they're gonna come out really cool. So if you like these and you wanna buy them, they're a men's size 10. You can hit me up on Instagram at Stinger Cyber Customs to buy them. And that's it, so let's get started. The prep work for this custom is pretty simple. I'm gonna remove the swoosh from each of the shoes and then rub them down using Angela's other prep and deglazer. If you guys wanna buy any of the products that I use in this video, I'll have links to everything in the description. Now I'm gonna take my Walter White stencil and remove all the negative space. So everything that's white is what's gonna end up being black after I paint over it. I get a lot of comments asking how I make my own stencils, so I'll do a full tutorial on that in the future. Now that that's done, I can use transfer paper to move the stencil onto the shoe. Before you paint over a stencil, it's really important to make sure that it's on there securely and the best way to do that is by applying pressure and heat. Through my airbrush, I'm applying Angelus Matte Black Paint mixed with Too Thin. On the other shoe, I'm putting the Breaking Bad logo, so I'm going to repeat the same process with this stencil. For the element squares, I'm going to be using my airbrush to paint them green. And if you look on the logo, it's not a solid green. It fades from white in the upper corners. So I'm going to try and recreate that effect. To recreate that effect, it's really simple. I'm going to do one square at a time and just spray white paint at an angle from the corner. I probably could have just stopped there because I like the simplicity of the design, but I decided to add a couple more details. Now this custom's finished, so I'm going to lace them up and spray them with a matte finish. But as I'm filming this voiceover, I just hit 25k subs, so thank you guys for all the support. It blows my mind that there's 25,000 of you guys. But that's it for this video, so I'll see you guys in the next one.